In South Africa, there are many inspirational men and women. And here on Movers and Shakers, you'll have the opportunity to get inside their heads. My name is Vusi Zion, and I'm on a quest to understand the path to success through the life stories of Mzansi's real visionaries. If you know Himla, you'll realize that uh, everything she does, she does with passion. Her ability to put the science of her work across to the public makes her this absolute treasure. Yeah, if it becomes work, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Where do we come from? It's one of the most basic questions that mankind has asked since the dawn of civilization. Now we might be on the cusp of finally solving that riddle. Spearheading that research is one of South Africa's most preeminent scientists, Professor Himla Sujo, renowned across the globe for her groundbreaking genetic research into the people of Sub-Saharan Africa. Her studies have identified some of the oldest DNA found in living people today, adding weight to the theory that modern humans may have evolved right here in Southern Africa. My work straddles two very important arms of knowledge acquisition. One, what has resulted and contributed to the patterns of genetic differences and similarities we see in the human population. That would be molecular anthropology or human evolutionary studies. However, it is that same genetic blueprint, when things go wrong, have information linked with disease. We are interested in mechanisms of disease. Why is it that some diseases are commoner in some parts of the world compared to others. Any major highlights in your career over the past 25 years? Essentially, the, the highlights are taking a project from start to completion. Engagement, getting the nod to do the work, yeah. and then coming back, doing the laboratory work, and then going back and sharing those results. That gives me a very, good, feel-good sentiment at the end of it. Mm. But for me, the high in all of this was the dynamics of trying to take science out of these concrete buildings out there. Two young kids into schools, uh, wherever you go, that is quite a challenge. Mm. And in a country where maths literacy and science aptitude is very low, to just get them excited, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. She is a national treasure um, because of her work, okay, what it's done in terms of population genetics, but how she's then applied it to the field. And, and, and um, the, the classic example is uh, the, the, the Sarah Bartman story, where, you know, she, she got involved there, she advised, she helped, and she made sure that that whole story came to a conclusion which was absolutely correct and right for this country. And, and I think it's the application of her work and her ability to put the science of her work across to the public in terms that they can understand that makes her this absolute treasure. Growing up, did you always want to do what you're doing now? No, I didn't know where I would end. I was always interested in science and Maybe I thought I'd become a teacher like my mother okay. and most of my cousins at the time. But I went to university and I studied a BSc. And in my second year, I was inspired by an article I read in a magazine. And this article said that with spillage of crude oil in the ocean, scientists were trying to make a superbug. And this superbug was going to be constructed with pieces of different genetic elements from bacteria put into one construct that if you were to throw on the surface of the water, yeah. it will start breaking down the crude oil. And I thought this was fantastic. To me, the awe was in the sophistication of this technology. But at any event, Witts University yeah. was offering a master's degree in biotechnology. Mm -hmm. And I was fortunate that I was accepted onto that course. And uh, with that background, I landed a job at this very location when we were referred to as the South African Institute for Medical Genetics. I was inspired 
by tea room conversations with my PhD mentor, Trevor Jenkins. Mm -hmm. He said, you know, I've just come back from a conference in the States, yeah. and I heard a fantastic talk on how scientists are now using mitochondrial DNA to trace human history. Yeah. Do you think you guys could do it? So that was a challenge. Himla took up the challenge and as a result got hooked into mitochondrial DNA in the field of genetics. She has been working in the field ever since with great success and received the National Order of Mapungubwe Bronze for her contribution to science in 2005 and has become internationally renowned for her work. You know, I think Himla has uh, dedication to whatever she does. She, if she can't do it properly, she won't do it. Um, that's probably one of the characteristics that Himla is most noted for. And anything she does, she does it with everything she's got. I, I've never known him like to do anything by half measure. She's one of the most insightful people that I know. She's gonna set the foundation, okay, in population genetics in this country, in this continent, for the next generation to stand on her shoulders and take it an awful lot further. You know, I think Himla has contributed hugely in, in, in the South African context from a person of color, or, you know, previous to a black classification. And I think Himla has been an inspiration for, well, for not just for women, but for young people in general in this country. Given the importance of science and engineering for the development of our nation, I asked Himla what it takes to reach this level of scientific research. You know, to get to do this kind of science did not happen overnight. It took years of creating certain components of the scaffold to be in place from which to launch. And so, so it's a process of thinking, that curiosity that drives us to want to know more. How do you inculcate that passion in people? And so that is where I believe the kind of mentorship as I got to pass on to the next generation. By inspiring people to have that curiosity, never stop asking questions and never make, stop making use of mechanisms that are in place to aid in that quest. Questions about the origins of man will continue to drive humanity forward. With each new revelation, a new pearl of wisdom on a precious, precious string. Each new discovery provokes another question driving mankind's insatiable thirst for knowledge and understanding. This quest has driven Professor Himla Sujel her entire life, making her one of the most famous geneticists in the world, making her a true mover and shaker. ENCA.com